morning guys it is saturday january 27th it's about 9 30 in the morning as you can see i'm currently working on getting this hair all fixed up but i woke up at eight o'clock i did some journaling and i've been using shannon kaiser's mantra book oh i can't remember what it's called it's like 365 daily mantras and affirmations i'll leave a little image of it right here so you guys can see what i'm talking about but I've really been loving that. I just got it last week. So it's really neat because every single page in that book has a mantra and it has sort of the introduction to what that mantra means and also more of kind of like a prayer or just something that you can internally say to yourself. And then there's a question, like a journal prompt at the end of it that kind of goes along with the theme of it. So I've really been enjoying that. And I've noticed a trend because you can you can go in order. So you can go from day one to day 365 or you can open it to a random page and just kind of see what page calls to you if that makes sense so i've just been opening it up to a random page and i feel like they have all been spot on which is really really neat so i journaled and did my mantras and my whole gratitude practice this morning while i was in bed and then i wasn't feeling that great yesterday so i was like you know what? i need to just shower like take a nice hot shower and you know start to get ready because i have a lot that i need to do today including filming two youtube videos because I need to get those edited and uploaded and ready to go because in like a week and a half, I think, I will actually be going to San Diego for a bachelorette party. So I'll be gone that weekend. So I just like to have my videos all set and ready to go, especially when I'm traveling. That way I don't really have to think about it. So I came in here because I saw that my phone pinged with an email and I wanted to check and see what that email was. So now that I've done that, I'm going to head back into my bathroom and work on this. But for today, like I said, I have a lot of stuff that, this always gets really bright and yellow whenever I go in here. But like I said, I have a lot of stuff that I want to get done today. And honestly, I can't even remember all that it is. I wrote it down last night in my to-do list. So instead of just telling you guys <laughs> what I'm gonna be doing today, I'll just show you. But first things first, we gotta get this little rat tail taken care of. I finished getting ready, I have put my lipstick on. I feel like I'm not complete without a really bright shade of lipstick. It's weird, I don't know, I feel like it's my signature thing. Anyways, I'm in my office now. I'm getting everything all set up. There's awesome, awesome lighting in this office, except when I go like this, uh, too bright but there's really good lighting in here so i want to take advantage of this so i'm going to power through and film two videos hi pretty i've been kind of a homebody lately and i feel like i kind of need to switch up my environment a little bit like i need to go somewhere else because i want to get some writing done today i'm feeling very inspired and very creative so i'm hoping that filming these videos since i'm prepared for them and i know what i want to say I'm hoping it won't drain me too much, but I'm actually going to hop in my car and go to Barnes and Noble. And I just, uh, it just sounds really good to get a coffee and sit down with my laptop, put my headphones on and just kind of immerse myself in my story and just to be, be in a different setting. So that's the plan for right now. I'm gonna get to filming and then we will head to Barnes and Noble. Okie dokie, it is now 11 o'clock and I'm hungry because it's essentially lunchtime. A lot of you probably noticed this if you watch Kayla's vlog that I got a new car. now 3 30 in the afternoon mall is busy there's lots of cars and i made a couple of purchases i had a really hard time picking out what i actually wanted to buy from barnes and noble because there was so much good stuff so i did have someone reach out to me and they brought up a very very good point that i wanted to make sure i made in this vlog so we all kind of know <laughs> 
that bookstores are in a little bit of trouble, especially with the rise of Amazon and you know, you have prime shipping and their prices online normally for books are cheaper than they are in the stores. And I mean, this makes sense, right? Because as a store, they have to hold inventory. It just costs more money to sell things in an actual store. So of course, indie bookstores, I try to support them as much as I can. There really are no indie bookstores around me in this area. A lot of them are in Houston, kind of in the downtown area. So when I do kind of venture over that way, cause it's about an hour and a half from where I live. When I do venture over that way, I do my very best to go to indie bookstores, to go to Blue Willow Bookshop, to go to Katie Budget Books, to go to these other bookstores to help support them. When I'm here in the woodlands, I mean, even though Barnes and Noble is a big box store, if you guys remember, if you live in the U S there used to be two big box bookstores and that was borders and Barnes and Noble borders went out of business and Barnes and Noble is still standing. But I have to imagine that the way the publishing industry is going and kind of the new landscape, especially with hybrid authors, ones that just publish eBooks and ones that publish print versions. And now there are so many other ways of getting books than, you know, just going into a bookstore. So I do think that, you know, stores, bookstores in general are hurting a little bit. So while I do buy a lot of things from Amazon because it's super convenient, it's cheaper and I have prime shipping, I pay for that. So it's free shipping and it gets to my house in two days. I do make sure that at least once a month, if not more, I will go to a local indie bookstore or I will go to my Barnes and Noble and purchase something from them because I feel like it's our responsibility to help keep them in business. And I know that the prices are a little bit more expensive, but I use Barnes and Noble. It's kind of like a safe haven. It's sort of like my second home and same with other, you know, coffee shops and other local bookshops that have little tables and chairs and places that you can sit and write. It's like a second home for me. So to think about them potentially going out of business, it's like having my second home you know, taken away from me. And this is not saying that all bookstores are gonna go out of business and that Barnes and Noble is gonna go out of business. I have no idea, I don't work for them. I don't know what's going on in the background. But if you just kind of think about the publishing landscape and how much has changed and how much has become digitized and how easily accessible it is to get books online and to have them shipped to you instead of going to the store to actually buy them. I mean, it makes you kind of question things a little bit and how, how much longer can big box stores like Barnes and Noble and especially smaller indie bookstores really hold on. So I just wanted to make that point to, to shop at the actual bookstores every once in a while. You know, don't just shop and get everything online. And even if you shop, you know, at barnesandnoble.com or if your local indie bookstore does have a website where you can buy from them. I just urge you to think about that when you are about to purchase books, especially if you're someone like me, if you're a writer who likes to go into these stores to kind of, I don't know, get in that, that zone and kind of really have that nice vibe and be surrounded by books and creativity. I just, I really love my Barnes and Noble and I was actually surprised to see Borders go out of business and I just don't want that to happen to any of these other bookstores, any bookstores, not just Barnes and Noble, but any of the bookstores, I want them to stay in business and the way to help them stay in business is by being a patron and buying their products. So with that being said, I bought two things from Barnes and Noble today and I'm really excited about them. They're both more in the personal development realm. So I bought the Universe Has Your Back 52 card deck from Gabrielle Bernstein. So I read this book and I loved it and she came up kind of with this mantra affirmation card deck and I've seen, I follow her on Instagram so I watch her Insta stories and see some of her photos and I really liked the messages that were on these because she would show some of them in some of her photos and so I thought this is something I need in my life. So I bought it. And the book I bought is You Do You by Sarah Knight. I saw this on Kayla Nicholson's channel. She did a motivational kind of personal development book haul for one of her January videos. And she had quite a few other books that I wanna get my hands on, but I'm just, my TBR pile is like this. And my, my reading, <laughs> I really need to work on how much I'm reading. So I have a goal. I'm going to make it a goal for the rest of the year to read at least one fiction and one nonfiction book per month because I really need to start. I have so many books in my bookshelf. I have this thing where I kind of hoard books, like I'll go and I'll buy books and then I don't read them. And I really need to read through the ones that I currently have. So You Do You by Sarah Knight. It's how to be who you are and use what you've got to get what you want. And I was like, I like all of that. I like what that's saying. 
so I'm gonna gonna give it a shot. I'll let you guys know how it is. So yes, we are in 330 territory. That was a nice little afternoon at Barnes and Noble, just kind of getting out of the house, getting in the zone. I wrote 864 words, yay. So that was a really, that was just great. That was awesome. I had my headphones on, I was in the zone. It felt really good. I need to do a P.O. Box haul when I get home because I have a lot of packages and I just haven't had the time to <laughs> show you guys what all I've gotten recently because I've gotten so much mail and it's been awesome, but I've been really bad about filming it in my vlogs. So, all right, back north we go. I just got home. You can see this one behind me. It's four o'clock while there's still some daylight and before I do the P.O. Box haul, I need to take this one for a walk. Cause you've been so good, you've been cooped up, huh? You're gonna walk? Yes? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh wow, that is some special tricks, tell me. Ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, my sweet friends, so here is just the stack of things that came in my P.O. box. This is a giant stack of stuff that I got in my P.O. box, and this is from December and January, mostly. I have noticed when I do my P.O. box hauls, they tend to be really long, and even though I try to speed some of it up, um, it, they still end up being really long. So, from this point forward, I am no longer going to read the letters on camera, and that's really just for the sake of time. I do want you guys to know that I do read each and every one of your letters, and I'm doing my best to respond back to everybody. There's just a lot. So I just wanna give a shout out to the people who did send me mail to my P.O. box. I got something from Mandy in Kansas. I got something from Amber in Nebraska, from Samantha B in Texas. It looks like this one was a Christmas card from Jennifer LeBlanc. Another Christmas card from Marie Greaves. Another card from H. Flower from the UK. And then a letter and a really cute handmade bookmark from Mattia. I hope I'm saying your name right, from Alabama. So if you did send me a letter or a card, I just wanna let you know that I have read through it and I wanna say thank you so much for taking the time to write me. And I am, again, in the process of writing everybody back. So just know it really means a lot to me and I love getting handwritten letters and snail mail from you guys. It just really brightens up my day. Now I will unbox the packages because I did get quite a few packages. So the first is from M. Peters in Canada. She sent me this really adorable card as well as these really cute bookmarks. They have like little pearls and diamonds. They look like rings, but they're actually little, you know, bookmarks that you stick on the pages. And also this really beautiful pen. It's like a marble smoke looking pen. So I love that. You guys know how much I love pens. So thank you so much to Melissa. I really, really appreciate this. I'm excited to start using my bookmarks and to start using my pen. The next package is from Betty Rose Woody. And she sent me what I think is her book. There was no letter in here, so I'm not 100% sure, but it's called A Mother's Love, and this looks just really special, and I'm intrigued to learn more what this is about, so thank you. I also received a mix box by Homemade Bakers. This is really cool. This is actually from Lisa London. She has a YouTube channel called The Indie Marketing Channel, and she sent me this box for when I might have some downtime and want to bake, which is so sweet because I love baking. It's something I've been trying to get more into. I find it very therapeutic and relaxing, as strange as that sounds. But this is the coolest thing. She sent me this mix box, and I'm guessing this is her company, although I'm not really sure. I could be wrong. <laughs> Their recipe is for a Black Forest Yule Log, and it tells you exactly start to finish how long it's going to take you, what the baker level is, so if it's like a beginner recipe or an expert recipe. And then look at how cute, like it's so simply laid out. And then in the box, I don't know if you guys can really see that. They actually provide you with everything you need, including like, you know, a miniature strainer, and just like everything you could possibly need in order to make the recipe. So I just wanna thank Lisa so much. I've really been wanting to get back into the kitchen, back into baking, and now I have the perfect thing to make. And the next package I got is from my lovely friend. I don't know if she wants me to say her name on, <laughs> on my channel or not, but she's Fox Clouds. And 
She sent me something so cool and I really wanted to feature this in this vlog so you guys can learn more about it. But it is called Word Ashes and it is a bi-monthly art and literary digest. And you can see I still haven't opened this yet because I wanted to kind of do it on camera. This is so neat and it's so beautiful. It's so artistic and so well done. So I just wanna read the little hello so you guys can understand more of what this is about. Dear reader, welcome to Word Ashes, our crazy little world of art and fiction. You're holding in your hands the product of years of friendship and hard work of months of scheming and plotting, of hours of typing and sketching. For years, we had meant to work together as creative partners, not just trade some art and stories via iMessages, but create an actual product together. An idea of a book transformed into an idea of a collaboration project, then an online zine, and now it is a bi-monthly digest. So this is an art and literary zine that was created by two friends, by Nina and Masha. Really, really neat. You can see it's just, it's very creative, and I just love the self-expression in here and just the artistic expression. This is such a beautiful, it's a beautiful concept and it's really well done. And they were actually nice enough to provide me with a discount code to offer you guys if this is something you are interested in receiving. If you want to get 20% off your order of the physical copies only, you can use the discount code WAFRIENDS20 and I'll leave it right here for you guys as well as in the description box below. This is really neat. Make sure you check it out. Support some fellow indie authors, indie creatives, and take advantage of that discount code. All right, next I'm really behind with my Binx Lit unboxing. So I'm going to do December's box really quickly because I actually did go through it and there's some really awesome stuff in here that I want to highlight. And then I will go ahead and unbox January's Binx Lit box. So I love December's box because there were a lot of, I guess, desktop notebook pen type things in here. You guys know how much I love pens and papers and all that stuff. So some really cute items here. There's also a Secret Garden treasure hunt and coloring book. There is a cider candle from Mountain S Handmade, which smells amazing. And by the way, the theme for December's box was self-love. So I really, I really, really love all the stuff in this box because it just fits it just fits the theme and what I was going for in December so perfectly. So we more really cute desktop like organizing type supplies. So we have some stickers, some pens, some pina colada and crushed strawberry mixes. She said you can add water, but they recommend to just add vodka, which I thought was pretty funny. And then this really adorable ticket, it's an admit one for a self date night. So they gave you a red box code coupon, popcorn and milk dud. So it's like treating yourself, you know, self love, treating yourself to a movie. Love that idea. There were some colored pencils for that little coloring book. And this is super cute. It's a pillowcase that says, meet me under the mistletoe. And then December's book was one I was so excited to get because again, I feel like Minx Lit, they just know what books I'm thinking about buying, but then for some reason I don't buy them. It's like we have this cosmic connection. But Radical Self Love by Gala or Gala, not sure. Gala or Gala, darling. And Gabrielle Bernstein says, radical self-love should be on every woman's bookshelf. So if she endorses it and supports this book, then I can't wait to read it because I love her. Okay, so that was December's box. So let's go ahead and move into January's box. So January's theme is perfectly imperfect. Looks like we have a bunch of stickers. There's some more whipped soap for a bubble bath. There's also this little thing that you can put on the back of your phone, which I, I love these. This one says no bad vibes. There's also a golden palm tree bookmark. Again, adorable. Another candle from Cozy Wicks. I have immediately become a fan of Cozy Wicks because all of their candles smell so good. This one is Twilight. <gasps> oh, I love that one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to buy a larger version of this. This smells amazing. There is a hanging wall calendar, which is so perfect because I've been looking for something like this and with this kind of font. So yay, such good timing. I really, really needed this. We also got a shirt that says purpose, passion, poise. And last but not least is the January book of the month, The Gifts of Imperfection by Brene Brown. Let go of who you think you're supposed to be and embrace who you are, your guide to a wholehearted life. Two great books, two great boxes. And just so you guys know, Minx Lit is a monthly subscription boss for the creative girl boss, for the hustler. I love everything I get in my boxes. I use all of it. So just so you know, I do have a discount code. I will leave it right here. The information is always in the description box below. And here is the aftermath of my PO box hauls. <laughs> has been a fun filled vlog. I am actually kind of impressed that the sun is still up. I guess it is only 6.30. <laughs> so 
I am actually going to spend the rest of the evening just away from the camera. I feel like it has been, I don't know, I feel like I've just been attached to it all day long and I kind of want to start to wind down my Saturday. I feel like I got a lot of footage. Hi. Hey, kiss. No, oh, thank you. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off right here. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up to support my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.